Well, hello, how are we? Happy Sunday fun day. How are you doing? Uh, feel free to drop a line and let me know. Uh, well, this week uh, I've got a quick update on NaNoWriMo and uh, that has not gone very well, unfortunately. Why? Well, I've got plenty of excuses. Um, <laughs> so last week was uh, my Amsterdam trip. Uh, I had a stinking cold, which was uh, most uh, egregious. Uh, but I managed to kick it enough to enjoy my weekend away and when I got back I was still recuperating plus of course I was very tired from the weekend and just generally excuses, excuses, excuses. Um, so there we go. But uh, I'm going to get back on my horse and uh, you know get this NaNoWriMo kicking again. So fantastic stuff. Uh, my diet overall is okay, uh, ebbed and flowed, but still as a general overall viewpoint it's better, but you can keep me posted on that yourself. So anyway, uh, what we're going to talk about. So I'm going to talk about my research trip uh, to Amsterdam. So uh, if any of you follow me on uh, Instagram, TikTok, Facebook, you'd have seen last weekend that I put a video on uh, from the red light district. And of course, if you didn't see that, that means you're not following me on them, and why not? You know, hey, come and join the party. Um, but, uh, so yeah, so I, I, I shared a video because I was there researching my thriller. Uh, it's got trafficking in it, so it's a very, um, uh, it's very, very relevant, and uh, I did some very interesting research out there and in other areas, and I have to say, it was a fantastic time. It's the first time I've ever been away as a research trip. So as you know, I went across Europe during um, the summer, but that, that was a holiday. Yes, it covered some places in my novel, but it was a holiday. This was a research trip, you know. So this is what I've got to find out, uh, you know. Uh, so I've booked the tour here, there, here, you know, get my schedule there, there. Then you've got to go here, you've got to be there, you've got to be there. I need to find that out, I need to find this out, I need to see this, I need to see that. You know, so I kind of planned it all out, and it, it was it was like it was like working essentially. You know, but it was really exciting. I really enjoyed it, and actually having that filter and, and, that, and that that lens to look through was just uh, absolutely fantastic. Um, so yes, so I met loads of wonderful people, uh, interviewed people, uh, interviewed workers uh, in in the red light area. Uh, interviewed uh, members of the public uh, all around Amsterdam and people in restaurants and pubs and all sorts just to get an idea of living in the city and the culture and nearly everybody was uh, very helpful uh, found out some amazing things uh, so I'm going to share today some of the little tidbits that I've, I've got from there so first of all is as I just said I spoke to a lot of people ask away, ask plenty of questions. Uh, so something that's very interesting is, um, speaking to the workers in the red light area, was that uh, tax came into it. We were talking about tax, I asked about it. I was like, what about tax? Will they pay tax and stuff? I have to go to the Chamber of Commerce, get rid of the Chamber of Commerce. There's all these procedures in place that I had no idea about. And that kind of gives you a really full kind of background and idea of what really happens. So when you bring your character into that setting, you've got, a, a a more understanding and it do, doesn't always suit what you want to do but it means you can be as much in reality uh, as you can so that was fantastic so i you know don't just i think well you know i'm writing this kind of genre of book all i need to know is this no you don't you know try to find out as much as you can about everything so you really just understand the world you understand everything you know the different viewpoints um, so and that was that was that was very interesting and it's a mixed bag as well you know people had a lot of different different conflict and views out there just like in any society uh, so yeah so that would be one of my tips another thing I, I noticed is that that um, moped is really loud yeah honestly mate yeah talk about hairdryer anyway <laughs> sorry about that uh, the other thing that I noticed uh, is that cities change so I went to Amsterdam several times a long time ago, like 20 plus years ago. I was a young lad, went there with my friends, uh, parted hard as you do, 
this time, obviously, I'm a lot more mature, dare I say. Uh, but, you know, I, I just had this completely dif different experience of it. Uh, not, not, I'm not saying uh, neither was negative. You know, I've, I've always liked going there, but it was just different. It, it was a different vibe. And also I noticed the, the city changed. It was not how I remembered it. And it had changed, literally. Um, it, it didn't seem quite as hectic or frenetic as it w was before. So, yeah, I think it's very important to, if you can, to go there now. So let's say you're set in a, a novel in Berlin and you went there 20 years ago and you haven't been, you know, you haven't been there for 20 years. You go, well, that's okay, I've, I've been there. Well, no, it's not because cities change, cultures change. So uh, uh, it's not really the best example, but an idea might be the Boris bikes in London. Okay, I appreciate that they're all over the world, but let's just say that, you know, 20 years ago, there weren't Boris bikes in London. So, you know, you're living somewhere, you know, you're living in Finland and you're writing a novel set in London, you know, you wouldn't might not think to include the bikes that were everywhere, the line bikes, the scooters, you know, the uh, the Santander bikes, you know, your character might be sitting on one of the docking stations, they might meet someone at the docking station, they might be using it for exercise, as a, a lot of people do, including moi. So, you know, but you, you get the idea, you get to what I'm trying to say. Um, obviously, it's not a make or break. If you if you can't afford it, you really just can't get there, then, you know, of course, it's okay. You, you know, Google's there, and a lot of people do use Google, um, you know, Google Maps and just researching different things. And I'll be forced to, because obviously I'm writing thrillers. So at some points there'll be countries that I, I just can't get to or, or I'm not even allowed to go to. So yes, of course. Um, but if you can, I'd say it was well worth it. Um, also, uh, it's, uh, sorry, I've made a note because I, I did videos earlier. I kept forgetting my points. Um, also, uh, something else that occurred was it actually changed my story, the visit. So as you know, I'm plotting, uh, uh, um, uh, well, I'm a pantser, discovery writer, and once again, it's tripped me up a little bit because uh, I've got an idea of what happens in Amsterdam. I know what needs to happen in Amsterdam. But in my mind, I had a concept. I had, right, this is the kind of setting it's gonna be, and this is the kind of tone I'm trying to keep the novel fresh and different environments and, and uh, places and tones and things and after my trip there it just that went out the window I was like no that's that's not where it's going to be at all it's going to be a different concept it's going to be a, a different vibe a different a different tone so now if I had a plotted it all out down to the last detail it, of course it wouldn't be that inconvenient because I can just change the nuances and just change the background a bit and etc etc so I'm now I'm a bit a little bit ambivalent about this because in one way I've got a blank slate to work from you know so uh, I'd still say plotting but you know I'm quite excited I've got this blank slate so now I'm just trying to say right okay how do I write this section of the novel even though I've gone past it and and written on I'm getting towards the end I've got another little um, uh, speed bump to, to get over just towards the end connect a few dots but other than that I'm I'm kind of sailing off into the into the into the distance now uh, so it's gonna be really exciting to get this done so uh, that's kind of that's all I've got to say I'm going on long again so I need to wrap this video up but just say it was really really well worth the time um, I found some wonderful restaurants to uh, for the characters to go to and stay in a wonderful hotel where my character Stalton will be staying and uh, I've done a video on that which I'll share with you another day. So look, uh, I'm going to get going and just say happy Sunday fun day and uh, keep writing, keep dreaming, keep thinking, keep living, keep breathing, breathing, keep watching, keep, yeah, anyway. <laughs> Cheers. Bye bye.